we have covered the difficult part of MBTI now we are quickly going to dash through the other two types the third difference is based on the way you decide are you a thinker somebody who makes decisions using his head or are you a feeler somebody who makes decisions based on your heart let's look at the details a thinker is a person who is always use, using logic and who is using reason to analyze problems so if you if you are a thinker parent if you, and if your child comes and says dad i want to buy a new toy i found this new toy a new toy you will of course tell him what have you done to win this new toy last week i bought you a toy because he's using logic you didn't score that well in the last examination next time you score i'm going to give you a toy somebody who who uses logic and reason to make a decision this is a person who focuses more on fairness than to be loved okay so if he has to give feedback to his boss or to his uh, employee or to his associates he, he doesn't have a problem he's not he, a thinker is not going to say oh my god if i give this feedback is this person going to feel bad no the feedback has to be given if if a credit card uh, uh, company calls a, a thinker and keeps talking on and on he'll say please don't disturb me he has no problem in in saying no and he's usually a very cool person he's not the one who will fly off the handle and go red in the face because he has got good control over his emotions this is a typical t person he doesn't have any problem handling difficult situations now let's look at the other part the life of a feeler okay now the feelers are also thinkers in a way they think but finally when they take decisions they take the decision from the heart they are extremely good at understanding people and their viewpoints okay they get along with people very quickly they are very good at understanding people for them it's not logic they don't believe in logic for them it's about people and the problems what concerns them mostly are the way relationships are oh my god how can i say no he'll feel bad oh my god how can i be tough with him i don't want to lose that relationship with him because of that these people usually will really try hard before they say no they don't want to say no if you borrow something from a feeler and don't give it back he is going to find it extremely hard to come back and ask you you know why because he is concerned as to whether you will feel bad he is very careful to hurt others think about this your child and yourself are you a thinker thinkers also feel by the way but finally when they make a decision they make a decision uh, uh, using their heads i'll give you a simple example your son comes back home after playing soccer he's extremely tired and he says dad i don't want to do homework today if you're a thinker you'll say no you knew that you had homework to do and you willingly went and played football so make sure that you take a wash finish your homework before sleeping but if you're a feeler you'll say oh my god look at his face you know he's so tired let him sleep homework is not important if you get a job opportunity from another emirate or from another country if you're a thinker you'll say wow better uh, incentives better salary let me go but if you're a feeler you'll say oh my god my son's friends are here you know we love this neighborhood we love this place we've been in this building for a long time so make a choice is your child a thinker that makes him a t or is he a feeler that makes him an f now let's talk about curious if you are a thinker or a feeler do you think the job of a doctor suits you more okay which suits the profile more will a thinker do the job of a doctor better or will a feeler do the job of a doctor better well i think the answer is obvious if you are too much of a feeler and if you have to make a surgery or if you have to treat small kids i'm sure your hands will start shaking you know <laughs> and you'll not be able to do an objective job so feelers of course have excellent careers you know they can be counselors they can be trainers they can be teachers they can be in the media they can be in advertisement any job that requires understanding the pulse of people understanding how people feel feelers do a better job finally we come to the last distinction and that's about the way you act the way you behave the way you structure your work you can either be a j or you can either be a p let me explain a j is a person who always likes to plan ahead so if you have an event coming up if your son has an event coming up it could be an exam it could be an event at school and if he's always planning one week in ahead i'll do this i'll do that then he is a j j is like making lists are you a j if you're a j you'll have lists all over a list on your on your fridge a list on your computer and whenever you strike those item from the list 
you really enjoy it you know it's as if you're you're really accomplishing something i want to finish it off a j will never keep things pending so if you're a j you will renew your emirates id card even before it's expired or you will you will renew your insurance card uh, uh, as soon as it is expiring okay you don't like to keep things pending yeah you enjoy being decisive you like to finish things completely and you don't bother about deadlines because you'll finish your job much before is your child someone like that who finishes his jobs much before deadlines who does everything in a very systematic manner or is your child a p who is a p a p will not work until the last moment p will try to keep it open will try to keep all his options and at the 11th hour he gets a surge of energy as if lightning has struck him and then he finishes things uh, at the last moment so if he's got an event next week today he's not even bothered he doesn't even know what date the event is on he will think about the event only on the last day okay just before the event he gets his energy and he finishes things up so that's how a p is so think about your child uh, is he a j or is he a p if he's a p he loves flexibility because he doesn't decide beforehand he likes to think about all the options and he'll bring creativity into it he will do it this way or maybe he'll do it that way it's extremely interesting to work with a p because you'll keep getting different options let's do it like this let's do it like that they turn work into play okay for them life is a party and not very structured now there are people who are jays just imagine if you're a j how will you plan your next holiday your ticket would already be booked one week before the trip your bags are in place and you're ready to go a p <laughs> oh my god do i have to go for a holiday this time he rushes to get his tickets and then at the last moment he's running to buy a new bag that's how p's are but if your parents are frowning hearing this let me tell you okay p's have lot of advantages and p's are in demand in the workforce now you know why because if a plan goes awry if something does not go as per plan the j's get a heart attack i'll give you an example you have decided to go to korfa khan with your family you have booked a bus everybody has come you have planned everything in detail the meet the food the music the games last minute the bus driver calls and says sir i'm not coming and you get a heart attack okay now that's when the peas jump in and say why do you want to go to korfa khan let's go to safa park okay they'll arrange the cars and they'll make sure things are done in perfect bliss now that's the power of peace so there are a lot of jobs where things don't move as per plan in those kind of plans jays do get heart attacks they don't perform well you didn't tell me in advance is the typical response that's where peace do a, a much greater job i have a small video for you which clearly explains the distinction between a j and a p okay take a look at that and uh, you will be able to make your selection can i request the studio to play the video please
Hope you enjoyed that video and hope that gave you a little more clarity on the difference between these two types. Uh, let me make it very clear. If you are an extrovert, that doesn't mean that you, can, you cannot do a job that requires thinking and that requires planning. You can. But the point is, you will have to take extra effort to do it because your natural style of working is to be out with people and to spend a lot of energy and to make friends and to talk. So don't get me incorrectly. It doesn't mean you cannot. Okay, You can, but you'll have to probably put in double the effort that an introvert does in those specific jobs and and th that's an energy wasted instead if you go and choose a career that suits your personality type then you can naturally be good at this job i'll give you a, a simple example i was trained to be uh, an electronic engineer okay and uh, the typical profile for an electronic engineer is istj somebody who's introverted somebody who's got attention to detail somebody who's a thinker and somebody who's uh, uh, works in a very structured and planned way i'm just the opposite i'm an enfp okay somebody who's extroverted who loves talking and being with people somebody who is creative who has got no attention to detail you come and see my car you come and see my room you'll say yuck okay somebody who's a feeler for me it's all about feeling you know i'm not a thinker I I get hurt very quickly but because of that I'm able to relate to what people say I connect with people and I'm a perceiver I love making changes I love exploring new routes and for me deadlines <laughs> are finished exactly at the 12th hour and ENFP tried doing an ISTJ job no wonder I was not really doing great there but then I changed my career and took up a job as a trainer a human resources professional and for an ENFP HR and training is supposed to be one of the most suited jobs. So today, I'm absolutely enjoying life. I don't feel I'm working. Even now, I'm working, but I don't feel I'm doing it because I'm absolutely enjoying it. So, dear parents and our young friends, if you couldn't really catch the distinction between E, I, S, N, T, F, and J, P, Please do watch our video when it will be uh, uh, aired very soon. In a couple of days' time, this video of the program will be uploaded on the NTV website and you can take a look at it. Watch it again and again, understand what your type is. And you can see that we have provided a video link uh, below, sorry, a link of a website below. Once you've decided what your four letter type is, are you an ESFP, are you an ISFJ, are you an ENTP, visit this page whole lot of wonderful information is there plus it tells you what your preferred jobs are okay jobs that allow you to be yourself jobs that expresses your strengths jobs that will take you towards becoming leaders not as 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 dreary uh, followers who are not finding lucky breaks so it was extremely it was an, a great pleasure to be with you today to explore and share this awesome tool of mbti with you Please do watch the video. If you have any, any, cl any clarification that you need, you can contact the studio or you can connect with me personally on Facebook. I'm available on Facebook. You can connect with me because it's an awesome tool and uh, let's continue this journey together. Make sure you understand your type. Make sure you visit this link and find the right career and have a great life ahead. What we'll do is we'll continue this discussion this topic of finding the right career we will devote one more episode for that and then we'll move on so see you in the next episode it was a pleasure uh, having you uh, with us in the studio uh, once again with sharu and the rest of the crew signing off uh, for another episode of ntv my teacher have a great evening